Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's T here from Technically T, and today we're going to get into another iPhone 7 Plus case review. Now, today we're taking a look at the Nomad leather case for the 7 Plus. Now, I literally just got back from Best Buy, and I wanted to get a video out for you guys pretty quick because I'm very anxious to use this case. So let's take a look at it. it has very nice packaging from Nomad. I actually have never heard of them before, but apparently this is in competition with the iPhone with the Apple, the genuine Apple leather case. So let's get into it. Let's look at some of the specs on the box. We have American leather, rugged patina, 360 degrees protection, and we have that finest quality Horween leather that will age over time. Let's take a look at the back. As, it, as I just said, it develops a rugged patina. Now, some people don't like this look of a leather case. They don't like the way it wears, but I think it's a beautiful wear. That's real leather for you, real leather wears. And I think this cognac color is going to look very well as it ages over time. So let's get straight into the case. Like I said, nice premium packaging from Nomad. And they're made from the finest American leather. Horween, this leather will show wear. Keep using it and it will age beautifully. Turn over to win five grand. Well, I'm gonna turn that over. I'm gonna do that later. All right, let's take a look at the case. So here is the case. Like I said, I got it in the brown, aka cognac color. On this right side, we do have a raised power button, and on the bottom side, we have a cutout for your lightning adapter and cutouts for the speaker grills. Now this is where I say it might it has a one up on the Apple leather case because. I love the Apple leather case I always have, but I hate how the bottom is exposed. In this case, you have more of the bottom covered. Yeah, this little bit is going to be exposing of the iPhone, but I'd rather have this little bit beside the whole bottom exposed. So that's already a plus one in my book up on the leather case. On the left side, we have that raised volume up down, cut out for your mute toggle. Your top is completely closed. On the back, we do have that cutout for that camera and flash. Flip it over to the inside. We have a suede black smooth material so it doesn't scratch up your iPhone when it's in there. On the bottom, we have a little Brandon Nomad Horween leather. And that's pretty much the case. As you can see, it almost like it's already wearing out of the box. But to me, like I said, I love this color. I love the way genuine leather ages. So let's slap it on the phone. Now, I'm assuming we're going to go button side like usual. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. That's a nice fit. Okay. Let's look over the let's look, let's look around it. So, that raised power button. It's, it's kind of mushy. It's actually very mushy to press. That I don't know if that has to wear in over time. I'm, you're not even feeling a click. And I'm not sure if this case automatically turned the iPhone on cuz it's so tight of a fit or what, but it turned on. I'm not sure what caused it to turn on, but we'll see as I go use the case. Here's a cutout on the bottom side. Like I said, you do have this tad bit there that's actually open. Like I said, I'd rather have that than the whole bottom side open. The cutouts are on point. Volume up, down. You can kind of feel them. A little audible click. I think these buttons need to get worn in, broken in a little bit before they actually hear the click and feel the click, which is no problem. That takes time. And you're cut out for that mute toggle switch. Top wide open, back, cut out for that camera and flash, and that's it. Let's take a look at the layer on the table protection. If you look at it, you do have a very slight, if you look on that corner over there, a very slight lay on the table protection. I wouldn't run this case if you're going to be, if you need it for heavy duty protection, this case is not going to give it to you. This is a case for somebody who wants a minimalistic case that works in a casual setting. No construction, no anything. Someone who's going to be very careful with the case. This is the case. That this this is who it's for. Like I said, I was. This is probably the case I'm going to run for a while. I was looking for a case that I was using my UAG as my daily driver, but it became a little bit too bulky for me. Even though it, it provides excellent protection, I wanted to use a leather case. But I'm once again the Apple leather case has the whole bottom exposed. And once I saw this. I immediately wanted it. I mean, I was looking at every, every Best Buy, and I finally found one that had it, so I rushed over there tonight and got it. So, this is the Nomad case. It fits like a glove. I mean, this thing is super tight up here. Like I said, I think the case is so tight, it actually turned this volume button on. But, it's kind of 
beginning to wear a little bit. I think once you break the case in a little bit, it's actually going to work great. So this is, <coughs> excuse me, the Nomad leather case for the iPhone 7 Plus. Right now, I think it's out of stock on Amazon, but at Best Buy, they do run you $39.95, which is also a number two head one up on the Apple leather case that runs you $49.95. So to me, you're getting the same quality leather. You're getting more protection for a cheaper price running the Nomad leather case. I highly recommend this case. I believe this case isn't coming off my phone. I'm going to use this for the long haul for my daily. When I review cases, I'll take it out. But I'm going to leave it up here. And I will give you an update, guys, maybe in a few weeks, weekly, if you're interested to see how the case is wearing. But once again, this brow, I believe, will, it'll, it'll age beautifully. And I will definitely keep you guys updated. Stay up on my social media, my Instagram, and I'll definitely post pictures of it as when it starts wearing and how it ages over time. So, once again, give it a thumbs up, like it, dislike, comment below. I'll try to reply to your comments as soon as possible. And thank you for watching the video. Later.